Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about the Unify Network 9.0 which got released as a stable. Uh, it bought a lot of new features, so we'll check in this video, we'll go through all those features and configuration. Apart from that, Ubiquiti has released three new devices. Uh, they have released the Flex switches. Uh, in that they have released a 2.5 gig flex switch uh, non poe as well as the poe and they have added a new switches in the lineup called sd switches pro sd switches as you can see on the screen so uh, first we'll take a look into the unify flex 2.5 g switches and what are these two new switches provided so if you take a look into the flex uh, switches as you know about uh, this product this is the compact form factor of unify switch either it comes on the five port or eight port so but uh, this time they have released the flex 2.5 gig switch uh, which uh, has eight port and you will see the differences by looking into the switch it got 10 gig SFP plus port as well as uh, e, uh, uh, POE input which also support a 10 gig GB port so it's a flexible 8 port 2.5 GB switch with 10 GB RJ45 as well as the SFP plus port and it can be powered with the type C or the POE adapter this is a non POE switch as you can see uh it got eight 2.5 gb ports and one 10 gb poe in input port for power or sfp port so you can uh, utilize that 10 gig sfp plus if you have a 10 gig connection in your network you can use this uh, apart from that they have released uh the other switch which is not available yet it will be available on the jan 16 it is the poe it has the same form factor but it got some poe ports so it it is a eight port as well as it got two sf uh, one sfp plus port uh, and one 10 gb rj45 ports and all other ports are 2.5 gb eight ports poe plus plus so you can see it got a poe plus plus so uh, if you know the new uh, switch uh, new access point uh, which uh, ubiquiti has released uh, last month about the enterprise uh, all those access points support uh, poe plus plus so uh, so you can power uh, these uh, access point using these switches as you can see uh, the specification it got 10 gb poe plus 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 input power input port for power or sfp plus port combo uh, this is the uh, total poe availability if you use a poe plus 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 input it can draws up to 57 watt poe availability and if you power with the poe plus plus it will give 37 and if you just power with the poe plus input it will draws only 12 watt and uh, if you use optional ac adapter which is uh, uh, you have to purchase separately it will draws 196 watt so you have to purchase uh, ac adapter 210 watt if you want to use it uh, if you want to get po availability of 196 watt and this switch is also sub has uh, two i mean all eight ports are 2.5 g and either you can use sfp plus as well as the uh, uh, rj45 port which is also 10 gig apart from that they have uh, released uh, the hd switches if you take a look into the they have released the pro hd 24 poe and the non poe switches and this is the professional grade layer 3 ether lighting switches uh, which got two 10 gbe poe plus plus and 22 2.5 g poe plus plus and 4 10 g sfp plus port so this also switch has a total uh, poe availability of 600 watt and it got a dc power backup ready where you can use unify rts and it got 410g sfp plus port so this also switch 
you can uh, power the E7 campus, E7 enterprise, those access point which support PoE++ plus plus. Uh, and uh, um, they have uh, released a non-PoE also Pro HD24 PoE where you can use these switches on your uh, rack so utilize uh, the 2.5G uh, bandwidth as well as the 10 gig if you uh, you want to use on your network it also support the ether lighting so they have released these uh, switches uh, as well as they have announced uh, the new access point which is the u7 pro outdoor from the u7 lineup uh, as you can see here this is the outdoor access point the uh, for the u7 series lineup it got a six pedal stream and it support wi-fi 7 with 6 gigahertz support so uh, it has a six spatial stream and it can cover up to 5000 feet uh, square feet area so uh, it's a i mean uh, you can see the beast access point uh, in this phone form factor it support 300 plus connected devices and you can power it with the poe plus and the uplink is 2.5 gb and it is a weatherproof outdoor exposed so uh, this was the lineup was missing on the u7 pro outdoor lineup so they have released a u7 pro outdoor uh, previously it was only a u7 outdoor but like now they have released with the u7 pro if you check the difference between those two access point uh, you will see it got a uh, wi-fi 7 with four spatial stream and the coverage is same but it uh, that ax uh, pro access point got six spatial stream and uh, connected so uh, this is a zone based firewall now you can uh, create a zone policy for your guest network iot external internal network using the zone based firewall protection and this is very convenient you can reorder your firewall rules using the zone based firewall rule uh, cyber secure by proof point it's added an extra layer of security uh, because it uh, extend your in intrusion and prevention detection and uh, 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 if you enable this it will uh, update the signatures uh, of your gateways which can be helpful to detect the malicious threat and everything so uh, it needs uh, your unify cloud gateway on either 4.1.8 or the unify gateway under 4.1.3 and uh, uh, if you use the unify gateway in udm pro uh, then only you will get the option under the unify site manager i will show you in a minute and this is the network application a a a api so this api provide powerful tool manage sites devices and clients so you can get the real time status and everything so you can use this uh, within the unify network application under the api integration and this all all the improvements they have fixed in this version so let me show you first let me show you the cyber security proof uh, cyber secure proof point and when you go to the unify site manager uh, let me put uh, on the list here so you will see these options so right now cyber secure is only available in the us canada eu and uk support for the region is coming soon so you need to be on this that region so you can avail so i'm just using uh, the uh, cyber secure proof point uh on the uck gen 2 plus so you can uh, click on this here and manage your subscriptions and you can uh, even go for a higher subscription but right now i have already subscribed so what i will do i will just show you uh, the cyber secure proof, uh, proof point you can act from where you can activate if you go to the settings in you could go to the security under the protection you can see the cyber secure as an active you can view your traffic flows and you can add it so let me just show you the uh, guide for the cyber secure so you will be aware so this is the cyber secure proof point and you can see the supported model in the signature capacity right now uh, if you use a efg it will get 95000 plus signatures in the 53 categories and if you use a uxg enterprise it also got the same 
and if you come to the model of the UDM Pro Max, UDM SC, UDM Pro, UCG Max, uh, UXG Pro, UXG Max, UCG Ultra, Dream Wall, you can see this much signature models you can get uh, up to 55,000. The signature is 53. And uh, if you use a, uh, uh, there are some options like if you use memory optimized mode, the signature will be only 30,000 plus, and the optimized. Uh, the categories will also go less down to 36 so you can see this uh, the limitations if you want to uh, if you want to utilize less memory you can uh, get up to 30,000 plus only uh, signatures as well as the categories is will only show up to 36 and as of now the UXG light is not showing up but when I check under the unify site manager it uh, shows up on, under the UXG light also. So I'm not sure uh, on the guide, it says uh, it is not available any signature, but we'll check back later. And the dream, dream machine, base dream machine and the dream router, it got only 20,000 plus uh, signatures. So the, here is the option given, memory optimized mode, so gateways have limited resources like memory and CPU to handle tasks. So the intrusion prevention in IPS and IDS uses more, mem more memory and the number of the enabled signatures increases. So if you use uh, the full signatures, uh, it will stay in your gateways and the connected clients. So the memory and the CPU will increase and you will see some connectivity issues. So uh, these all features are more, uh, I mean, memory intensive like the BGP routing, content filtering or ad blocking. And the memory optimized mode provides a curated list of signature balancing robust security with low memory usage and making it deal for the resource constrained environment. So uh, you can use these models on the gateways with the memory optimized modes. If you want to use that, it will have a less constraint, uh, I mean, on your gateways. And the benefits of new thread signatures, it will uh, scan your network traffic and the patterns known as signature. So I have uh, from like, uh, Till now on my sites, if you see the total signature count is 60,828 and the poten potential threats found only one uh, on one of the my devices. As you can see, uh, it goes uh, the counterpart one.trymyconfig.com and it was a malware android.trojan. So it blocked that traffic and it uh, shows the high risk and uh, this is how you can uh, check the uh, traffic flows under the threads here so this is the features they have added using the cyber secure proof point the next thing we will take a look into the zone based firewall so if you have not enabled the zone based firewall uh, you will see under the security it will say to enable the zone based fire but right now i've already enabled the zone based firewall so you can see all the zones like the vpn dmz external internal and the hotspot so zone simplifies firewall management by grouping network areas and it allows the policies and individual rules so so right now you can see the zone name internal external gateway vpn hotspot dmz and test and you can create your zone from here directly for example test one and you can select your interfaces from here. So for example, if I want to create a uh, zone based firewall for my uh, guest test and I will save it and I will add an entry, move network to zone. Okay, so now you see I have uh, added the test one as my guest test and I can even manage it from here and uh, you can create a zone from here so it is uh, simply defined for example right now under the internal network you can see allow all traffic if you want to check the block all so you can check the block all traffic from here you can even create a policy directly from here for example i have to create for the test one so i have to create a policies for that test one so you can create a policy directly from here this is your, if you want to choose the external, inter, internal right now, I will create it for the test one. And uh, it should be either any 
or device or network IP, I can choose any devices, for example, from the list, or even I can choose any network from the list, or even I can uh, use the specific IP on the source zone and even on the Mac, and uh, you can use that. So, under the destination uh, and the action, you can use either block, allow, or reject, and the destination zone. Uh, should be uh, I don't want to I mean uh, the this test guest network I don't want to access uh, my gateway network so it will uh, block any IP on that gateway network or any I will uh, use that even I can use the uh, IP version both protocol as well as my port and you can check the policies from here in the so you can check a view policies from from the external it will allow both and this is the hotspot as well as the dmz you can check uh, both the traffic are blocked so this is how you can create the firewall pool so the next event scope so we'll check that later so uh, so to be noted that with the uh, new finite 9.0 you can 